welcome to chemistry lover and only six or seven days are left for the csi net exam june 2019 as you can see so many people have requested me uh, to make a video that what they should do for this last few days and here i am for you i will be uh, giving you some tips and i will suggest you few topics that you should uh, prepare or that you should revise during this this last few days so if i talk about so first uh, let me tell you that uh, in the csi net exam the most scoring part is the uh, group c where you have four marks question and you can easily uh, easily gain at least 80 to 90 marks in this particular part so if you can acquire 90 marks from part c then it will be very easy for you to gather more marks and to have a good rank right and your target should always be on how you can solve more question from this part c so uh, taking into this account and uh, by seeing the previous year question papers i have uh, made this particular video i am making this particular video i will suggest you the topics which you should revise during your last uh, days for the csi net exam so if i talk about first the or inorganic chemistry if i talk about so you can see these three are the most important areas the organometallic chemistry coordination compounds and bioinorganic chemistry so these three are the most important part and almost 80 percent questions or i can say 90 percent questions will be coming from these particular three topics now this organometallic chemistry or this coordination compounds they are a vast topic and i am not uh, not talking about any particular topic but i am talking about the whole organometallic chemistry and as you are preparing for the exam i hope that you are uh, doing all the important topics so now what i am trying to say is that during the last few days uh, focus more on these three chapters or these three topics and uh, whatever you read during this one year or six months just revise them uh, you you don't need to pay attention for other topics like the periodic table or that if question comes from there you can do it easily but uh, you should focus more on this organic chemistry coordination compounds and bio inorganic chemistry so that will give you good marks in the csi net exam now the next if i talk about organic chemistry you can see the organic chemistry syllabus is vast and you should focus more on different type of topics in inorganic chemistry as you have seen i, I can easily say organic chemistry coordination compounds and bio inorganic chemistry but in organic chemistry i have to be more specific and here these seven topics are very important you can see the rearrangement reactions all the rearrangement reactions of carbocation carbanion carbene and nitrine there are a lot of name reactions you should revise them once before the exam then the spectroscopy the spectro spectroscopy based structure determination one question will always be there in the csi net exam from this particular topic and they will be a four four marker question then uh, the pericyclic reactions you have to do the deal solder reaction all the regio and stereo selectivity and other h in reaction like that so as a whole pericyclic reaction whatever you have re read previously just revise them then organometallic chemistry the basically the cross coupling reactions of organometallic chemistry the protecting groups uh, what are the protecting groups for different groups like alcohol acid or amine uh, revise all these things because one question all comes always from the protecting groups and the oxidizing agents and reducing agents these are very important there are some chemoselective oxidations and reductions that you must know that for example mno2 is used for the oxidation of secondary alcohol in presence of other alcohol so this type of information you should know and uh, the epoxide ring opening and all the other stereochemical factors in the cyclohexane ring system or normal systems their stability anomalic effect all these things you have to revise right now if i talk about specific name reactions because people requested me to suggest some name reactions so here are some name reaction that you should definitely do the so the first one is deal solder reaction 
almost every year there will be a question from diels alder reaction then shapiro reaction bamford reaction iodo electronization it is a very very important reaction and almost every year there is a question from this particular topic then sharpless epoxy reaction again it is a very common and always question comes from this topic then cram's rule felkin and model you should know because uh, the dastrio selectivity based question comes from there then asymmetric aldol like the proline catalyzed aldol or normal asymmetric aldol with evans catalyst that question also comes benzene parch reduction wittig reaction peterson elimination julia olefination and uh, in photochemistry norris type 1 type 2 and paterno bucci these are very important also you can look into the dipy methane and then grafs catalyst this is again a very vital topic michael additions asian moser fragmentation is a very a uh, very hot topic for the csi net exam question comes from their beckman rearrangement and fragmentation uh, pinacol semi pinacol this is again a very common topic question very frequently question comes from this pinacol and semi pinacol uh, topic then the feborski rearrangement it is again a very hot topic ozonolysis and kore chekovski reaction so i have mentioned just few of the name reactions and you cannot afford to miss uh, these these particular uh, uh, name reactions but there are a lot of other if you can read more that is good for you but don't uh, don't let this particular name reactions uh, out of your revision so you must revise these things next if i talk about physical chemistry so uh, here i will be very much specific and i will talk about only those topics which everyone can do which are easier relatively easier so here you can see solid state this topic is relatively easier just by knowing the bracks law and other things uh, how to determine the density that type of things you can score good marks then adsorption isotherm the langmuir bet and other adsorption isotherm if you just know the formula you can easily solve questions stereo uh, then uh, electrochemistry it is again a very bsc level concept and uh, all the conductance uh, calculation all this type of question comes so it is again a easy topic then simple formulas of chemical kinetics and also thermodynamics you can do but their thermodynamics is a very fast topics and in csi net exam a uh, very few question comes from thermodynamics so i don't I, do, i i i'll not say you to focus more on that but chemical kinetics you can look into the little formulas like uh, what is the what is the order or what is the rate equation for a uh, first order second order or third order reaction or zero order reaction that things you should remember then polymer again it is a scoring topic all the one question will come from there but it is relatively easy because only you have to do the uh like viscosity uh, average molecular weight or weight average molecular weight. so only molecular weight measurement or a uh, little bit this type of things you have to do then uh, this is again a very common topic that how to find a missing row in a character table and it is a relatively easier question from the character table or group theory and then uh, partition function from partition function lot of question will be there okay so these are easier topics and you cannot afford to miss them you must revise them now if you are good in physical chemistry you can do all the quantum all that stuffs but i am making this video for everyone who are not uh, that much good in physical chemistry they can also afford these topics so that's why i am telling this so these are all the topics that you must revise during this last 6 or 7 days and uh, i can tell you you can do it because i personally did it when my uh, exam was there i didn't have much time for the preparation i i had only one or two weeks and i revised all these topics so that gave me a good result uh, you can you can uh, apply the same thing in your case so i hope that uh, this video will help you if you like this video then uh, share this video with your friends so that they can also get the benefit and if you want more videos like that subscribe my channel and if you want any other videos uh, before the net exam you can let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to make a video on that so thank you for watching